Hey, what's up everybody? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Last time we left off with uh, cutting out images for our website, this template right here. And we were running out of time so I had to cut it short. Um, so with this tutorial, it's going to be somewhat quick. We're going to do the final steps in Photoshop, which is going to get some color samples and font sizes and all that so we don't have to come back into Photoshop once we start programming it. Uh, so this is where we left off. Let's see if we can pop this open. We cut out all these images right here and got them ready, got them named. So now what's left is, as I said, we're going to get a sample of colors, like this background color, this font size, the color of the font, and all that. Now these colors might not stay the same, but uh, it's a good base to start with once you start programming. So all I did was pop open text edit, and I'm going to use this to take notes. Let's scale this down a little bit, so we can click over to it quickly. All right, so we're going to start off from the top, and we're going to grab the text tool, and click here, and you can see it's Helvetica, bold, 15 pixels, and it's white. So all I'm going to do is pop open this text right here, and we're going to go navigation, Helvetica, bold, 15 pixels, white. Simple as that. Um, slide it to the right. Feels more natural for me. So end that. And this size, let's get a sample size of what this is. So with a Mac, I just go Command Shift 4, and it brings up this uh, this screenshot selection tool, but I use it for measuring. And the height for the large is going to be 144 pixels. So let's do rotator height 144 pixels large I don't know let's get an idea what the small one will look like I don't even know if we need this because I haven't really looked into how to do this rotator yet so the small is we'll say 116 pixels so 116 pixels small very nice All right, so the text for this, I'm not even going to get an idea for that because I don't, I don't like the way this looks. We'll have to see what, uh, what we can do once we start programming. So let's go to the sidebar, and it's Helvetica, bold, 20 pixels, and the color is C0, okay? So let's just make a new section right here, and we're going to call this sidebar. So title is Helvetica bold 20 pixels and then the color is this and then the body text of that is regular 13 pixels and the font color is this so body reg 13 pixels okay let's spell correctly and then the link color is the same thing, but the color changes changes to this blue. Link. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else we need. Then we're gonna do. Uh, let's make a new section, and we're gonna call this center. And then again, we're gonna do title. And I think it's about 18 or 20, we'll see. 17 pixels, we'll probably make it 18, just to be cool. We're gonna call it Helvetica Bold, 18 pixels, and then this color. Username is 14, and the rating is 12. So space space, username, 14 pixels, rating, pixels. We got no footer. Normally that's going to be about 10 pixels, but we'll see once uh, once I figure out how we're going to do the footer. Now the another main part is this background color, and it's a gradient. Did not know that. I don't think we really, yeah, we don't really needed a gradient, I don't think. It's so slight. We're just going to go with this lighter color and see how that looks like. It's 299. So let's go to the top here. Since this is one of the first things we're going to enter, 
So main background is 299. And now we need to get a width for this. We never really checked that out. It's 960 pixels wide. All right. So width 960 pixels. I'll bring it here. And then we also want to check the width of this the sidebar. So again, I'm going to zoom in at 100%. Uh, Command Shift 4 for this sizing tool. And size like that. And if you don't have uh, Command Shift 4, you're not on a Mac, you can just grab your crop tool, crop out a section that's about this big right here. Click Enter, go to Image, Image Size, and Width. We're going to go with 288 because I don't like odd numbers. So sidebar width 288 pixels. Undo that and let's take a look at what the width of this main section is. Something like that. Image, image size. And we'll go with 555 because that's a cool number once again. And center width 555 pixels. We're going to save this, put it into the Rankin Up folder, and we're just going to name this a uh, random text that you can look at when you're coding because you have a bad memory. Great name. All right, undo that, and let's see if there's anything else we got to take a size of. Um, Let's grab and see how high this navigation is from the top. So we're just going to take a quick snippet of this. Image, image size, and height, 33 pixels. So let's just put a thing down here, or right here. Navigation is 33 pixels from the top. Great. And undo. Let's take a look. Looks good. All right, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. I'm going to save this, and we have it in our folder now. So we have an images folder and this text memory text file to look at once we start programming. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. Hopefully, you're learning something, and we will see you next time.